video, it's going to be really exciting because we are trying out a new store! Yay! Yay! We're going to Kohl's, so we're super excited about that. And we're going to be shopping for some party outfits because it is Christmas season and when it's Christmas season, you go to a lot of Christmas parties and white elephants and all these fun things. You need some outfits that are super cute to wear to impress your friends. <laughs> right, and the motif that's going to be flowing throughout the video is how to dress the outfit up and dress it down so you can pretty much sponge and absorb and kind of fit the atmosphere of your party. So let's head to Kohl's and try to find some cool party outfits. Woo! This is probably too small. Can we try and find this in my size? I was walking and I found this really cute one, but it really isn't a party dress for like an evening because it has the pink. Um, it's kind of like a sundress and kind of sunny and the silhouette is really light and airy so it doesn't have sleeves and stuff. So you just Okay, so I'm gonna go try these two on. I'm really excited because they're both dark color so it's more fitting for an evening event if you were possibly going to one. I kinda like it actually. Really comfy, it's a nice material with big earrings, big statement earrings into your hair all nice. The way to dress it down, you could put like some kind of cardigan over it, or even you could wear it with the boots and make it slightly more casual. Shape matters so much. I look like a brick, <laughs> that's what I look like. I look like a brick with weeds on it. But yeah, figuring out what kind of shape clothing goes with your body type is very important. Statement earrings to dress it up, but if you wanted to dress it down to fit the occasion. You could either wear this with a messy bun or just kind of stick your hair up like that. But in this case, I'm gonna dress it up. Okay, so these are my options. So I looked around the kids section in Kohl's and I have like a lot of options that I'm really excited for a party. So I found this one. This is a small in the women's section and I'm scared it might not fit, but I tightened the straps and it's like a halter red dress and it's so pretty and it's just like the perfect color and everything. I just really love it and halters are always like the best. And then when there was this dress, I was thinking I could wear this to like the Nutcracker. It's just so pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. I love like the pink flowers down here and then the pearl belt and it's off the shoulder and velvet. So then this is the outfit that I like the most and I'm probably going to end up doing this outfit because it's perfect for a party. So I have these black jeans and they're like high-waisted and they're my perfect size and they're just really really awesome and then I found this fuzzy jacket I love it it's basically what I'm wearing except less fuzzy I don't have a shirt to go with this yet so I still have to keep looking around but I love this. why don't you and wear why don't you wear the I'll red wear one that we got that in the first ball talk video the crushed one. velvet maybe oh yeah that would match that really would be well cute. But I also want to look around though because I've had that for so long and I've worn it so many times that it, I, I kind of want something to do. Mm. That is cute. I love that color uh, scheme. That's really pretty. Like you wouldn't even have to wear jewelry then because that's enough glitz we and glamour. We could try it. That's my size. So. Yeah, the only thing you need really to dress that outfit up if you got the sparkly one was sparkly eyeshadow and then you'd be totally complete. True. Bring it out. I like it a lot. <laughs> I love the sparkles. The sparkles are cute for a party. It totally makes it. I like yeah. it. The jacket, honestly, isn't as amazing as I thought it would be. But like this, just this is good. That's cute. Yeah. It's good for an evening. Disclaimer, Annie's bra is <gasps> not supposed to be white. It's supposed to be gray. My mom thought it was white and turned dirty. It has a little bit of fuzz on it, but it's not that dirty. Okay, guys. So I really, really like this. These jeans are really cute. And I really like this tank top. I think I might get another color of this just because I like this outfit so much. If you dressed it down, you could wear Converse with this. I personally wouldn't do that because Converse isn't like my thing. I always dress up. I don't dress down. And then to dress it up, you could wear like little booties or like some little heels. I just don't like this one. It's not as much my style and it's really see-through. And it looks more of like I'm wearing a tank top. I love it. I like it too. Face me. I want to see the whole thing. Shape is everything, guys. And that shape, good shape. <laughs> it's a good shape. Halters are the best. I should dress it up. I would just put heels and jewelry and just, it's already kind of dressy. And then to dress it down, I put this like as a sundress kind of thing and you could wear it with sandals. Like, I've done that before. I've gotten a really fancy dress and worn it with sandals and like gone to Target in it. And oh, it's, yeah, like, if you had a messy bun and sunglasses, that yeah. would look super cute. It's not tight, but it looked really tiny on the hanger and on me it looks really big. That's because I got it to size up, but it looks like this big on the hanger. It did, yeah. That looks cute. I just need to tie this. Yeah. Let me do it. Actually, it, like it's not nearly as formal as it looks on the hanger. Now we're back from Kohl's. I'm 
actually really impressed. So I kind of went crazy and I ended up getting two dresses and a jeans outfit, which I was only expecting to get one outfit, but that's always good, you know? The more the merrier. I got one dress. Surprisingly, it was my first pick. So we're gonna put on these dresses and we're gonna show you our ways of dressing the outfits up or down so you can wear it to either a dinner or you can just wear it to hanging out at a friend's house. Okay, so this is my formal outfit. It's just nice and neat black little dress with really pretty boning right here. And I got these beautiful peach colored earrings that are statement earrings and I'm really excited to wear them. So this is the way I dressed it up. I have my adorable little shoes here that I'm really excited about. I got these from Steve Madden and they're super trendy. Alrighty, so this is how I dress my once formal outfit down. These are all my clothes that I had in my closet before this. So I got this cute green cardigan to cover it up and make it a little more homey and cozy. I got some black cozy cotton yoga pants. I got these super cute boots from Wet Seal that are lovely and brown and really cozy and so I paired them with it. And then I topped it off with a messy bun and some cute little stylish sunglasses to go along with it. So look, this is my outfit, this is my tank top and jeans. I decided to make it fancy by adding this really pretty red coat and this really fancy purse that I got from Icing. And then I wore it with some formal black heels. You guys have probably seen these a lot in my um, fashion videos. I think this outfit is so cute, especially for like a little dinner at Cheesecake Factory. Okay, then this is my casual outfit. This is by far the comfiest outfit I've ever worn. So I have this beanie that I actually got for free at my dad's workplace. And this jacket that I got from Chelsea Crockett. She sent it to me. You can see that. It'll be linked below. And then I have the outfit I got from Kohl's. And then some maroon flats because flats are super comfortable. I just got these from Forever 21. So we hope you got some good tips, tricks, and ideas about dressing up and down your outfit because that is super important. If you're going to like a white elephant party, you want to be nice but not too formal. Yeah, dressing it up is like adding some sparkle, adding a nice hair, your makeup. <laughs> my ringtone! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Oh my gosh! So I basically, my ringtone is all I want for Christmas because that's like the best song in the world. Christmas Speaking songs. Speaking of Christmas music though. Yeah, Christmas music is my favorite. My favorite songs are like the newer ones, not so much like the old carols, but like the new songs that artists make, like Ariana Grande has like, Santa tell me. Yeah, yeah I love the Just Me Christmas album. That gets me into the Christmas it's spirit. so good! So fast. Music is really atmospheric and it's really aesthetic and you know it like creates the vibes that you want yeah. for your Christmas party. You know, music is so important. I know, like if you're having a Christmas party, you need to just have like carols playing throughout your yeah. life. I always ask to listen to Christmas music in the car because I'm like, I need Christmas music in my life. It gets you in a better mood. People are like, oh, there's not that many Christmas songs. Nobody's coming up with new music. But that's the beauty of it. You know, it's like everybody knows the Christmas song so everyone can sing along. And yeah. like, you know, there's remakes and renditions of the same one. And that's I think Sia came out with the Christmas album. Yeah, she, she recently came out with one. It's probably good. It's I called, it. I think it's called Christmas Every Day. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Actually, Jake Paul came up with a Christmas Day bro song. Hey! Alright, we're listening to it. And you know who else came out with a Christmas song? This girl right here. And her and her friend Jenna. And it's super cute. And I mean, yeah, it's like a rendition of a bunch of other songs. So it's like yeah. so creative, you know? Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I hope y'all are enjoying your Christmas break because I know I am. And you just punch yourself. <laughs> Make sure that you check out my vlog on Friday because it has the behind the scenes of this trying the new Christmas tree frappuccino and ice skating and a bunch of winter things. So make sure that you check that out. It comes out Friday. And we've been talking a lot about Christmas parties and stuff and Annie herself is planning her own Christmas party and she's going to be making lots of videos about that. We're going to be doing the vlog of the party and a DIY snacks video. And we will see you guys next Tuesday.